Your old car isn't worthless. In fact, you're looking at one of the most valuable raw materials on Earth. Right now, sitting in junkyards across America, there are 12 million vehicles waiting to be transformed. Most people see rust and decay, but what I'm about to show you will completely change how you think about waste forever. Every single day, massive industrial machines are turning what looks like scrap metal into the foundation of our modern world. We're talking about a process so efficient, so profitable, that it's created a $100 billion industry that most people don't even know exists. Here's what blew my mind when I discovered this. That beat-up Honda Civic from 2010. It contains more valuable materials than most people make in a month. The steel alone is worth hundreds of dollars. The aluminum? Even more. And if it's a hybrid or electric vehicle, we're talking about thousands of dollars in rare earth metals. But here's the part that the auto industry doesn't want you to know. Every major car manufacturer, Tesla, Ford, GM, Toyota, they're all secretly dependent on this hidden industry. Because here's the shocking truth. Your next Tesla isn't being built in a factory. It's already sitting in a junkyard right now, waiting to be reborn. The steel that will become your future car's frame? It might be coming from a 1995 pickup truck. The aluminum in your next iPhone? Could be from a 2008 Prius. We're living in the world's most sophisticated recycling operation, and nobody talks about it. What I'm about to show you isn't just recycling. This is industrial alchemy, turning automotive waste into liquid gold. And the numbers behind this transformation will absolutely blow your mind. The Hidden Gold Mine Look at this. What you're seeing isn't waste. It's the world's most efficient steel mine. Here's something that will change how you think about recycling forever. That $50,000 car you bought? After 10 years, when it seems worthless, it still contains over $3,000 worth of raw materials. But the real shock comes when you realize what happens to these materials. The steel industry recycles 14 million tons of steel from cars every single year. That's equivalent to 13.5 million vehicles. But here's where it gets crazy. Recycling one ton of steel from cars saves over 1,100 kilograms of iron ore, 635 kilograms of coal, and 54 kilograms of limestone. We're literally mining our own waste. The Electric Revolution Secret Now, if you think traditional car recycling is impressive, wait until you see what's happening with electric vehicles. Inside every EV battery are some of the most valuable materials on Earth. Lithium, cobalt, nickel. These aren't just expensive, they're geopolitically critical. Here's the problem. 70% of the world's cobalt comes from the Congo. One country controls most of the supply for every Tesla, every iPhone, every laptop battery. But the EV battery recycling industry just hit $1.6 billion in 2024, and it's about to explode. By 2025, recycling will supply 15% of global cobalt demand. We're talking about a complete transformation of how we think about these critical materials. The EU just mandated that new EV batteries must contain 16% recycled cobalt, 6% recycled lithium, and 6% recycled nickel. This isn't just environmental policy. This is economic warfare. The industrial process that changes everything. Let me show you exactly how this transformation happens. This hydraulic press generates 150 to 200 tons of crushing force. In seconds, a 4-meter car becomes a dense metal cube one-tenth its original size. But the real magic happens next. This industrial shredder processes 100 to 150 tons of steel per hour. Those rotating teeth can handle hundreds of vehicles every single day. But here's where technology gets insane. Powerful magnets extract the steel, eddy currents deflect aluminum and copper, and AI-powered optical sorters identify different plastic types in real time. Then comes the rebirth. Electric arc furnaces create artificial lightning, generating temperatures over 1,600 degrees Celsius. In minutes, 
solid steel becomes molten metal. The molten steel flows into continuous casting machines, forming new billets that will become construction beams, new car frames, or appliances. The economics that will shock you. Here's the economic reality that's reshaping entire industries. Recycling steel saves 74% of the energy compared to mining new ore. The global car recycling industry hit $99.67 billion in 2024, growing at 12 to 14% annually. This isn't just recycling, this is industrial transformation. This industry employs hundreds of thousands of workers, from dismantlers to metallurgists to logistics specialists. Every new car you buy contains 25% recycled steel. Some internal components use even higher percentages. You're literally driving recycled vehicles right now. The future that's already here. The future of recycling is already here. Direct recycling technologies can recover battery materials without breaking them down completely, preserving their molecular structure. AI-powered robots can identify and separate different battery chemistries, maximizing recovery rates while minimizing contamination. By 2030, global EV battery recycling capacity will exceed 3 million tons annually. We're building the infrastructure for a completely circular economy. Cities are becoming resource deposits. Every parking garage, every junkyard, every electronics store is a potential mine for critical materials. What this means for you. That car in your driveway? It's not just transportation. It's future building materials, future appliances, maybe even future spacecraft. We're witnessing the birth of a truly circular economy, where waste becomes input, where end of life becomes beginning of life. The steel from a 2010 Honda Civic might become a bridge in 2025, then a Tesla frame in 2040, then a skyscraper in 2060. The global impact. This isn't just happening in one country. From Germany's advanced dismantling facilities, to China's massive processing plants, to America's high-tech shredders, the entire world is transforming how we think about materials. The environmental impact is staggering. Every ton of recycled steel prevents 1.5 tons of CO2 emissions, compared to producing new steel from ore. Countries are achieving resource independence not through mining, but through recycling. Japan recovers more gold from electronic waste than most countries mine from the ground. So the next time you see a junkyard, remember, you're not looking at waste. You're looking at one of the most sophisticated industrial operations on the planet. From scrap to skyscrapers. From batteries to bridges. From waste to wealth. This is the $100 billion industry hiding in plain sight. What do you think your car will become in its next life? A building? A bridge? Another car? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to discover more hidden industries that are quietly changing the world, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't believe what we uncover next.